cold email is one of the fastest, most profitable, and most affordable marketing channel for you as a high-level agency owner. This email system allowed one of my agencies to get a 95% deliverability rate, a 36% open rate, and just a combined 6% bounce and unsubscription rate. This system works, and I wanna share it with you today in this video. When you're starting your agency, you have the ability to choose between four different types of marketing, warm outbound, cold outbound, ads, and content. Content takes too much time to create. Warm outbound feels yucky when you're marketing to friends and family and ads can get expensive really quickly. That leaves us cold outbound, one of the most proven marketing channels for agency owners in 2025. And email is the easiest way to get started in high level if you do it the right way. I'm gonna be showing you the most important deciding factors of if your email marketing works or if it doesn't whenever you're using high level. And I'm gonna show you how I've used this for myself to grow an agency from zero to $100,000 a month in opportunities from cold email alone. This is one of my most proven systems and I can't believe I'm giving this away for free. So without further ado, let me show you how it works. I'm gonna break this down into four different sections. Automations, tracking, your dedicated domain, and email warmup. Let's start with our automations. What are we actually sending? I like to call this my six email system. So this is what every major marketer will sell for $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 as a package for email marketing to individuals. There's lots of marketing agencies that are literally built on this six email system, this offer. And this offer is really simple. Send six emails to one customer over 30 days. And if that customer doesn't respond, you can simply cycle them through the automation again. Now I have this automation built in my own agency, which is within a snapshot. If you want access to the snapshot, it's in the description of this video. And let me show you what we're talking about with our six email campaign. So we have a couple of different automations in this campaign, uh, in this snapshot itself, but let me show you the templated six email campaign version. It's really simple. We simply drip 100 people a day over 1.1 days. That's kind of my secret to make sure that we're not saying that the exact same time to everybody. Um, this helps with email deliverability and such. We're tagging our customers, and then we're just going to use one email action a create opportunity, and then we're gonna wait 108 hours. That's kind of how I will set my wait timers so that way they're sending on a non-regular basis so people don't get used to the times that we're sending them and we can catch them at different points in the day. So 108 hours, that is the sweet spot for me. And we simply have this copied. So we have um, email wait, email wait. We have update opportunity actions in this. If you wanted access to this workflow, again, just get access to the snapshot below. Um, and we're literally just sending six emails over the course of 30 days. Um, as people go through this, we're updating their opportunities in our pipeline, and that's going to be our next uh, portion of the video. But first, before we do that, let's talk about the copy. What are we actually saying in these videos? I have full templates for each one of these six emails in my snapshot, but essentially what we're trying to do is just get them to respond. We don't want them to book a call. We don't want them to go to our website. We want them to respond. That is the most important thing when it comes to our email marketing. And as we can see, what we're going to do is use as many custom values as we possibly can, like their name and their city, I find to be some of the best ones because we can call out specifically uh, those leads. And if you don't have leads with a city, right, I'll get onto that later when we talk about our leads. But we're saying, hey, I came across a business in your city. I work with local businesses to offer X, Y, Z looking for ways to solve problem, would you be open to a conversation? Thanks. Don't even include your website in these emails. That's something that a lot of people make a mistake on. They send their website out to tons of people and it lowers deliverability rates, it makes your emails look spammy and it flags email sending providers. So make sure whenever you're creating your email campaigns, you're making them for responses. You just want conversations with people, that is the goal. So make your emails around conversations, get them to respond and you're gonna be golden. We essentially just say that sort of thing in each one of our emails saying, hey, we're gonna see if this is something you're interested in exploring, open to talking about this. Do you have a few minutes to talk about this over our six emails? And again, our wait timers for each one of these is 108 hours. So we have email, update opportunity, wait timer, etc. right? So this is how we're going to actually market to these people. Now, this is a really stupid, simple workflow. It's why I think this is such an easy way to do marketing. And the only other thing that I would tie into this is a workflow to remove them if they respond. That is my response workflow right here. So we have a responded. So if a customer replies, then I will typically use workflow AI to determine intent. So this is part of our tracking. And that is going to be part two of this video. So let's talk about tracking. Let's talk about our opportunities. Let's talk about our tagging and how we're going to manage leads as they're coming in. 
So first part of tracking is positive and negative leads. I use Workflow AI with this, with this simple automation. This is also included in the snapshot, but if you go to trigger, you use customer applied channel as email, then you can use the Workflow AI. If you just look up Workflow AI, it's available for um, decision maker and intent detection. So you can use either of these for this process, but we use the intent detection one. And this is just asking if they are positive or negative. You just include the message body into the input text. And then if they're positive, we remove them from the workflow. If they're negative, we remove them from the workflow as well because you don't want to keep spamming someone with emails if they've responded to you and you're having a conversation with them because that's not personal, it's not human. And then I set up internal notifications to send myself an email about, hey, there is a positive lead, get in the account and respond to them. So internal notifications are a really important part of tracking. Make sure that you and your team can manage the leads that are coming in. Uh, the next part that I use with this in terms of tracking is our opportunities. Now, this is probably the most basic pipeline I've ever made, but it works fantastic for email marketing. And I will show you this actually in action. Uh, we have email one, email two, email three, email four, email five, and email six sent as our automation. So we can see where people's responding. We then also have replied positive, replied negative. These are gonna be our most positive leads, the ones we wanna work with the most. And then we have booked call, closed, didn't close, no show, onboarded, and do not disturb. This is the full pipeline breakdown. If you want to take a screenshot of this, right here. This is also included in the snapshot um, and that's how that works. So you've got your automation set up, you've got your tracking. Let's now talk about your dedicated domain and your warm up. These are the two most important parts of the email process. So really pay attention here. Now, if you haven't set up a dedicated domain yet, make sure you go to settings, then go to email services, and then you're gonna immediately be prompted to create a dedicated domain. A dedicated domain is a sending domain specifically for marketing for your high-level account. A lot of people don't know that you can use high-level for cold email, but you have to have a dedicated domain set up. And when you make these domains, it's something like lc.mydomain.com or any other prefix. You can do something like mail.mydomain.com. That's one that I use a lot. Um, but you just need to use a subdomain, a prefix with your domain. There's a lot of different DNS records that you have to add in order to add your dedicated domain. There's about six of them. So make sure you add those records, get your email verified. And when you're done, you will see your dedicated domain here. You will see that your SSL has been issued and you're good to go. This is one of my dedicated domains that I use for my company, sassuite.ai. And this is what you need to make sure you have set up in order to send emails from high level. Now, along the lines of having your dedicated domain set up, make sure that you include in your email actions the from email that you're using. Don't just use the location email. Use your actual info at mail.mydomain.com. Make sure you have that set here so you make sure that you're sending from the correct email whenever you're sending out your email actions. I know we've been going through this kind of fast. Again, it's a really simple system, but let's break it down one more time. We have our automation. We're sending six emails over 30 days. We have our tracking with tagging and opportunities and pipelines in order to make sure that we know when positive leads are coming in. Of course, when those leads come in, we're responding to them and booking calls. That's obviously the most important part of this entire process. We also have our email dedicated domain set up under settings, email services, dedicated domain to make sure that we can send from high level without having any issues. Now let's go over step four, email warm up. And this is unfortunately the most difficult part of the entire email process because how do you warm up an email? High level doesn't offer any done for you email warming up systems or services. There's platforms out there that you can pay in order to get your email warmed up, but often it's not a warm up that you're gonna use inside of high level. You have to use another email provider. So how do you effectively get your email warmed up inside of high level to make sure that you're getting those high deliverability rates we talked about earlier? Now, what is email warmup and why do we need to do it? Think of your email as an entity, an entity that has a reputation with email providers. Providers need to know that you're going to be sending quality content to people and that you're using their platforms for safe and not spammy services. So the best way that they can deem if you are a high reputation email sender is if people are responding to you positively. If you send out a thousand emails and a bunch of people respond back, replying stop or saying that they don't wanna to talk to you anymore, then this tanks your email reputation. But if you get people to reply positively, then this will increase your reputation. The difficult part of this is email sending reputation works on a mass scale. 
And this process can't just happen with just one or two emails over a couple of days. You can't set up your dedicated domain, send a couple emails back and forth, and then you're good to go. It'll certainly improve it, but it's not going to guarantee that you're going to get the deliverability rates that you want or that you're going to land in the inbox and not in spam or junk. Typically for go high level emails, it takes about three weeks to warm up an email account fully. And that's three weeks of sending positive responses back and forth, sending your emails to verified real individuals that are sending responses back. And of course, going this amount of time without getting too many stops or opt outs from your emails. After all, Gmail, Outlook, and iCloud, they wanna see that you are a real person that's sending emails to people that are valuable. They don't wanna see that you're trying to spam people with your services. So this is why we center kind of all of our email marketing around response-based emails, and that's why warm-up is so crucial. Now let me show you what my email warm-up process looks like. We send out these emails to our Go High Level agencies, and the email that we send typically doesn't really matter, but you wanna have it to be close to what you're actually gonna be sending in your email campaigns. So for this example, I sent a meeting reminder sort of email, right? And then the response back is something positive, like, thanks for sharing your email. Something really short, but something that is have a positive response. And you can see here in the left-hand side, we have appreciate the email, thanks. Thanks for keeping in touch. Thanks for sharing your email. Appreciate your kind email. Thanks, I've received your note. Appreciate your short update. These all have positive keywords in them and they're short and human responses. They're not big, long responses. And most importantly, they're not opting out. That's what's really crucial in this process. Now, if you want access to my team that does my email warm up, you can get access completely for free as long as you're under us as an affiliate. If you want to learn more about getting under our affiliate program, even if you have an existing GHL agency, or if you just want to pay one off to get access to my team members that you know for a fact can do your email warm up in three weeks, then feel free to book a call at howtousehighlevel.com slash contact. Now, if you want to go off on your own and do your email warm up, you're totally welcome to. You can actually do this with personal emails. So you can send emails to five or six of your own email accounts and respond back to them with these positive messages over about three weeks. Just make sure you're at least doing it a hundred times in order to achieve high deliverability rates. Again, these are the numbers that we got with this campaign. 95% deliverability rates, 36% open rates, 5% bounce rates, and 1% unsubscription rates. These are fantastic email metrics in the email marketing world. These are fantastic metrics and I want to share these with you. So if you want to get access to my team, book a call or sign up under our affiliate links and we can talk from there. The last kind of bonus section that I would say to this is responses. Make sure that you're on top of the people that are giving you responses or that you have a system that allows them to go to your landing page, book a call, and that way you can get these calls on your calendar and start talking with people. You have to stay on top of the people that are coming in and if you struggle with that, then maybe it's time to book a VA or get someone to handle some of these conversations for you. That's it. You've seen the entire system. Let's wrap it up one more time, we have six emails over 30 days within our automations. We have good tracking with tags, opportunities, and pipelines in order to manage all the leads that are coming in. Three, we have our dedicated domain set up on high level with a subdomain like mail.yourdomain or lc.yourdomain so that you can send these emails out. And four, you've warmed up this email account over three weeks, either through us or through another agency or manually with some email accounts that you have personally responding back and forth to make sure that you're landing in the inbox. If you're brand new to high level, this is one of the easiest ways to get started. And if you don't have a database already that you're going to use this system to market to, feel free to reach out to me. I can help get you set up with a leads list so you can start marketing on high level. And if you're an existing agency, this is one of the most proven methods in order to generate new leads, new clients through email marketing. And I absolutely love it. So I want to share it with you. Again, the snapshot is in the description below. Our affiliate links, if you want to sign up, are in the description below as well. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just book a call or opt in and we can talk from there. I'm super excited to share the system with you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. My name is Andrew and thank you very much for watching.